Hey, what's going on guys? It's Green Zero again back here with another Command Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. We are back once again with the Game Replays Summer Tournament 1v1. This is the second semi-final series uh, with Dirty Dutch and Steven Nashington. That's right, aka Phoenix Dutch playing under Swag Don Data because he's got like a... Every time Dutch logs on, he's got a new name. You know? <laughs> it's just the way he works. It's the way he rolls. These guys picking their factions, unlike the other tournament series or semi-final series we saw between, between Cyberstorm and, uh, and State of the Union. But nonetheless, one of these guys is going to be joining the finalist. Uh, just in case you're watching this one first, I won't say who that is until uh, until maybe the end of the video. Um, but uh, yeah, nonetheless, uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, Sparty was uh, live casting this series. If you want to check out his channel, uh, you can do so. There are links to it, of course, uh, Cyber as well casting. I think they dual casted the grand final, so that's definitely something to look forward to. Definitely recommend checking it out. But if you want to see these casts by myself on my channel, uh, nonetheless, we have them here for you today. So. This is semi-final number two. Uh, the winner goes through to the grand final. The loser goes to the third place. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be Dirty Dutch versus Nashington. The first map is Twisted Arena, which once again, uh, we've, we've seen. Of course, we saw this in the last semi-final because it is the predetermined map that you have to play on. So filthy, dirty, disgusting Dutch is going to be playing as Black Hand nonetheless. If you're in a tournament like this, you really want to try to play your strongest faction. And uh, Dutch is a nod player deciding that... Uh, that black hand is going to be his uh, his preferred selection. Stephen Donald Nashington is GDI. He's the Global Defense Initiative. He's going for his spike. We'll have to see how he handles this game here. I think Dutch is going to be very pushy. Dutch loves these big open flat maps. He's very, uh, very ball. He's a baller of a player. He's been pretty mad with me lately. I don't know why. It's like we've been playing a lot and he's been losing a lot. And that's probably got something to do with it. But nonetheless, he's got a real opportunity here to get through and win himself a... Uh, I wouldn't say this would be a major event, but you know, it's it's much, much more prestigious than like a Ladder Wars or anything like that. But he's got an opportunity to win himself a, uh, a, you know, a significant event here, so let's see how he goes. And Nashington, of course, will be looking to stop him. Tournament wins for these guys here are obviously few and far between. I think Dutch has picked up a Ladder Wars here and there, and maybe one other tournament or maybe two. Nashington doesn't have much to his card at the moment. He really needs to get himself a tournament win. This is his best opportunity here. And we'll have to see how it goes. Really excited to see these tournament series. Just the players. Like, you have these four players here. Cyberstorm, State of Union, Dirty Dutch, and Nashington. And you put them in a death pit. And you don't know who's going to win. It's like, who wins that? They're so evenly matched, I reckon. And Dutch now, he's going to be going for the Operation Center. He's going to be going for a Flame Rush. And, of course, Flame Rush is the best against uh, Screen. But it works very well against GDI. As long as you can get them. Uh, sneak up on them. And, again, look at this. Uh, Nashington. He's not, he's, this is very good, you know, you're in a tournament, you can't afford to not scout Black Hand. I mean, normally you can't afford to not scout them, but in, in a tournament especially, you're just asking to get rushed. A second flame tank coming out, this is so annoying, isn't it? Oh, he gets fired out, he gets fired out, the napalm doesn't quite hit the pit bull though. So this is what you want to do, you just want to poke, like, this is just such a painful endeavor for the flame tank. And for Dutch, of course, Nashian has to be on point because he needs to make sure he doesn't get flamed. And look at that, he's already almost wiped off half the health of this flame tank. The second flame tank, of course, is somewhere... I think it's gone down south, and the Reckoner will be drafted along with one uh, Black Hand Squad. And that's not good at all. This Pitbull, again, is just going to keep it at home. This is not a good start for Dutch. Not a good start. He's going to keep that, that safe. There is a second Pitbull here, but does he know about the other Flame Tank? I don't even know where it is. There it is. It's moving through this base here. He is going to see it. He's going to glance it there, but is he going to realize it's there? He's so focused on destroying these units. He, oh man, Nashington's one of those players. He should realize that there, there might be another Flame Tank out, but it's going to get through. He doesn't realize it's there. Oh no, he does now. He does. He sees it. He sees it. He sees it. He's got a Pitbull down here, but it's only one. One. There's a second people responding now. He's probably going to get these guys They're actually firing at the the, the, uh, the power plant, which is a good idea. But nonetheless, this flame tank here is going to get in. He needs to shield out the war factory. He can't afford to lose the war factory at this point in the game, especially with Scorpion Names coming out. He does shield it. Nice work there. He needs a second silo queued right now. But I think he's going to lose the war factory. That might be enough for Dutch to make this pay. Again, these units now moving back through the map here. Second flame tank under attack. This flame tank will go down. Oh no! Is it going to get a? Uh, is it going to get a refinery? No, not quite. The silo comes down, but the Reckoner, I think, is just going to finish it off. Meanwhile, Flame Tank killing Pipples, which is not good at all. One Pipple remains. Wow. And Nashington, this is what happens. You get shattered. You get shattered as GDI, and he needs to finish that one off right now. He's got his War Factory back up, which is good. He's going to be able to stop this Flame Tank, I reckon. Doesn't want to take any more Pipple losses. Oh, no, he can range that. Dutch can range it, but it's only one Black Hand Squad, so he might be okay. Yeah, he's going to be okay. One Black Hand Squad just isn't powerful enough to focus this down, especially with the building block. But nice blocking. Very well done by, by Nashington there. He's now responding very well. So that one Flame Tank, you can see there, that one Flame Tank that did sneak through that he didn't see till it was too late, 
that's what made the difference in this game. And Nash is going to clean up here. Probably could sell off all these silos. There's like $200 worth of silos there if he sells them all. Actually, these ones are damaged, so probably not that much. So he needs to do something about that. He's even going to order this uh, this harvester to refine that bit of Tiberium. Is it going to actually go back? It is going to go back. Oh, man, I didn't think they did that anymore. It must have been uh, from... Uh, I don't think he lost a harvester, did he? I'm not sure where that actually came from. Meanwhile, Pitbulls are back out and about. Let's see what Nutch was... Uh, <laughs> Nutch. <laughs> Dutch was doing in the meantime. He has half a dozen Scorpion tanks and dual war factory as well. He's got five and two, so he can operate off that. He could even all in if he wants to. He's got the economy for it and the double war factory, but he's not going to. He's going to keep a hold of his MCV. He's not committed to that just yet. It is a tournament, so if you're going to do that, you really got to be 100% dedicated to it. Pitbulls now going to fly through. Will not fly through, drive through. And again, they can do a decent amount of damage to the Pitbulls if, I'm oh, not sorry, the Scorpions, as long as the Scorpions are out by themselves. But there are Scorpions moving him out, and there's four Predator tanks, which he's not going to be enjoying. Wow, Nashington. Oh, no, you don't spam that. He just, he deployed and then packed it back up again. So slowed him down a few seconds. Not really important. But uh, nonetheless, he might be a bit on edge. Usually when you play, uh, pl when you're in the finals and things like that, or if I play in a tournament, the first game I usually play, I'm usually a bit on edge. But that's only against like my first round opponent once I finish that. Um, I'm doing pretty good. But these Scorpion tanks, these Predator tanks, will be able to pick off two Scorpion tanks. That's going to be very nice. Can they get a third? If they get it down to heavy damage mode, maybe they could actually get this one here. Oh man, these guys are both in heavy damage mode. This one Predator tank does pick it off. Uh, that's nice. This other Scorpion tank will get away. So that's a nice pickup for for uh, Nashington. He's got to watch out. There's rocket squads here now. This one Predator tank needs to make its way around a bit more. And Flame Upgrade was just done. Wow, and this is the thing. This is what's really painful about Black Hand. They can do this transition where they start with a Flame Rush into Scorpions and then just mass out. Because look, Dutch has no eco on his expansion. He's just ordered and he's hoping to kill the GDI faction. Very extremely powerful uh, extremely powerful uh, strategy. And look at this. The building blocking is coming out already. He does have a comm center, so the Shadow Tanks. He's force firing the ground to keep the range as well, which is very nice. Again, the, the Sonic weapons don't do anything really to the Black Hand, but they can absolutely kill the Rockets and the Cabals in one shot. These Predator Tanks are pretty useless right now. And again, he needed to build his wall a bit further back. There's a few Shadow Tanks here trying to fire through the mix. They will cause a decent amount of damage. He needs to build his wall a bit, bit further back. He doesn't have AP ammo. He's doing a lot of damage. The Scorpion Tanks really can't do much near. There's too many Predators and too many uh, Shadow Tanks here. They need to fire at these guys now. Again, put it going straight through the Cabals. But you really need to micro the Shadows because they're going to keep shooting at these Black Hand units. And now the MCV is in trouble. The MCV may go down. He's taking a lot of damage. He needs to laser fill that up right now. This one Shadow Tank needs to get like an epic shot off on these guys here. Oh, that was damage. That was a lot of damage caused by that Shadow Tank. And the Rockets will die one shot. But the MCV, is the MCV going to go down? A lot of damage being caused. The Predator Tank's being forced to crush. But that's because it's his only choice. The only thing he can do. Loses the MCV. Power is down. Oh, no. Power is down. The power is back up now. It's okay. It's okay. That one last Shadow Tank doing a lot of damage. But he needed to get one more shot off, I reckon, before going down. These Scorpion Tanks are pretty, pretty heavily damaged. The Shadow Tank's still moving now. I'd like to see what Dutch has back at home. But uh, nonetheless, there's one tower remaining. He needs to try to kill all these infantry squads with it, which I think he's going to do, which is nice. So Dutch has forced back four Scorpion tanks to escape with very badly damaged, or obviously a lot of damage there. But look at this. Dutch has two ref. Again, uh, same thing as uh, what we saw with uh, with Cyberstorm. Needs to get yeah, more harvesters over here because two, two ref doesn't mean a lot if you've only got two harvesters. He's going to get repairs on these guys, which is nice. I can only assume he's probably going to go for Dozer Blade shortly just because he has that advantage over the... Uh, over Stephen Nashington's armor right now. He's got more tanks. You know, he's got a decent amount more tanks and has the opportunity to get Dozer Blade and to blow out a proportion. There is a war factory here. Wow, Stephen Nashington. Oh, for a second there, I didn't think he had any refineries, but he does. So he's got this one war factory here. Obviously, he must have sold one of his other war factories as well. MCV is now out and about. There's two Shadow tanks here, and uh, he's out of Tib. He's fresh out of Tib. Uh, he's got like a few extra crystals on the edge, which this harvester is probably going to clean up. Could sell one of these refs. It's going to be a big ask for Steven Nashington to come back in this game, I think, just because, look at this, Dutch is really cranking this. He's got the dual ref. He's going for Dozer Blades. He doesn't even have to wait for that to finish. I think he just did too much damage with the transition. Again, AP ammo is done, which is very nice. He could sell the comm center off, but he's going to continue to build Shatterer tanks. And I guess if he can get like a, you know six or seven of these up, the Scorpion tanks will die inst instantaneously. And he's going to be able to defend this out. He isn't building a refinery though. You can see he just doesn't have the money for it. He's going to build everything he can to defend this attack off and then see what happens. But I don't think he's going to be able to survive this attack. Shatter is doing massive damage, but there's just not enough of them here. Again, a huge cost-effective trade here for Steven Nashington. But at the end of the day, uh, Dutch, can, he can take it. He can take this trade. He, he's, not, he's not fussed at all about that trade. 
and there's a flame tank coming now as well which is just even worse because all of a sudden you have to try to focus everything on killing this one flame tank predator tanks coming out now he's trying to defend behind his mcv there is no laser field he sold off the comms center he probably should have laser fueled that up the flame tank is doing ridiculous amounts of damage to the mcv now and that's not what he wants to see he's going to lose his mcv again and that could be game this time here yeah, the mcv goes down dutch snipes the second one and i think nashington oh there's the engineer for the engineer repair but it was a bit too late he might be able to hold this attack off maybe but really uh, I'm surprised <laughs> I'm surprised he's even going to hold this attack off here. These, uh, these Scorpion heads are going to go around. The Predator tanks will be able to clean these up ultimately, but the damage has been done. Nashington not choosing to surrender just yet because it is the tournament and, you know, you always have to try. But he doesn't have a refiner. If he had a refiner in his expansion, maybe he might be okay. But he's firing at this harvester here, which is full of Tiberium. Nashington needs to pull it back, which he's going to do. And that's nice as well. These Predator tanks will be able to clean up these Scorpions. Uh, they do have Dozer Blade now, but the Dozer Blade was only finished after the important battle had finished. He is going to get that harvest to the dock. Uh, meanwhile, nice control here, but uh, again, it's, I think it's just delaying the inevitable here from Nashington. I think he might be dropping game one, and he is going to clean up these Scorpion tanks very cost-effectively. He doesn't lose any of the Predator tanks, which is very nice. More harvesters docking now, and MCV is, funnily enough, he's got it out, but look at this. Dutch is moving MCV forward. It's his second MCV, which can only mean one thing. He's going to be dropping Obelisk, and look at this. Yeah, Nashington just sells up immediately. He's like, yep, that's game. Dutch putting down the Regime Engineering Facility as a big, uh, uh, as a sign that he wants Nashington out of this game. So yeah, it's just that that one flame tank. It snowballed from the one flame tank, you can see uh, from that point. Again, he probably built a few too many Preds when he didn't realize that the imp transition was coming. That gets GDI big time. A lot of black hand players will do that. It's like, hang on a second, you've got Pred tanks and I've got like, you know, 30 rocket squads here now all with flame upgrade and you can't stop that. Nashington had a great kill death ratio, but at the end of the day, 73,000 to Dutch, 59,000 to Phoenix, which was actually pretty good. I mean, 13,000 behind Dutch, but you can see right there. Uh, once his, his main field had dried up, that was where he pretty much lost from because he didn't have refs, lost his conyard twice, and uh, yeah, Dutch, uh, very thorough gameplay, very, uh, it's unusual for Dutch to, to, to play a strategy like that, normally he's a bit of a baller, but he did more of an intricate strategy there, you know, flame rush into half dozen scorp tanks, into infantry, into a combination, so very structured from Dirty Dutch there, and he's been rewarded there with a win 10 minutes and 9 seconds, so very good from these players here, of course Dutch losing a lot more just because he's black hand, but uh, that's the way it's supposed to be, and yeah, comes out with a nice win, so Dirty Dutch is 1-0 up against Nashington, we are going to go now into game number 2, and see if Nashington can claw his way back uh, into this series again, if you're down the first game, you know, it's... It's a nice, it's a, it's a good start for the other player, but it's not at the point where you, uh, you as a player are like, if you're 1-0 down, you know, that's your, you, your concern. You're just like, hey, no worries, it's only one game. He still has to win two more. Dirty Dutch now, I think they're going to select their factions. Yeah, it's going to be GDI and Black Hand. This is like the Terran of, and Zerg of StarCraft, basically. People love to see Black Hand play GDI, especially on the big open maps. On a more of a closed map, maybe Nod versus GDI. It's just the classic matchup. You know, there's a few other matchups out there that are very good, like uh, Zocom and Reaper. Not that you see it too often, but uh, it's just like a weird matchup. I don't know why, even why I mentioned that. I just remember that replay, Eclipse versus Alan X, the top 10 of 2011. And uh, it's just ridiculous. You don't have any artillery or stealth or things like that. So, uh, wow, look at this. Triple Engineer, so Dutch is going to be going for the Disciple upgrade. Uh, again, there's no way he would do that without Disciple because the GDI scouts are just faster and Nashington will take a garrison before he can get there. You can even beat them to this garrison if you're quick. I mean, this Kavar squad is on its way, and the Rathman squad's already about to round the hedge there, so look at that. He can beat him to this garrison, so if you're super quick, you can beat them there. But again, Dutch obviously going for flame upgrades, like, you know what? Flame upgrade, I can take whatever I want. You can take these buildings, but uh, unless for some, somehow you actually manage to snipe down the, the, the flame unit on this, this squad, you're not going to get anything. Uh, again, he probably has noticed that that's there. No, not quite yet. He's not going to take the garrison, so Nashin either not paying attention, but it's not going to matter in the long run just because he couldn't take it anyway. And uh, he's going to lose this scout over here. Trying to cut the engineers off, which is good, but of course he loses all his scouts. This is good for him as well. What's happening up here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bloodhounds are calling in. He needs to... Oh, no. This is going to get spotted. Oh, man. Dutch is going to have all the time in the world to... Oh, well, probably not all the time in the world, but he goes up to this foxhole. The uh, APCs will be able to kill these units here. That's nice. Uh, not really splashing each themselves down, so he's gone for Bloodhounds, that's what two rocket squads are for, you build them out the barracks, and all of a sudden Orc is coming, Pitbull's coming, Rocket APC is coming, and this 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 Hand of Nod's going to get camped, it is going to get camped, yeah, you've got, um, you've got the, uh, 
the Black Disciple, but uh, he's going to go straight for the Harvester because Dutch only has one... No, what are you doing? You're shooting at the refinery. Oh, my God. Nashington just wasted a ton of rockets on the refinery. Oh, man. He could have got that Harvester. He's not going to get it now. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was terrible. He is going to try to go for it now. There's another Augur here. He's got enough to destroy it. Drops the minefields. He's losing his APCs, but he gets it. He gets the he gets the harvester, and that's Dutch's only harvester, by the way. So there you go. He doesn't have enough. He doesn't have enough for another harvester. He's got three spikes, so he's gonna have to either wait or sell. He doesn't have a lot he can sell though. He can sell the power plant if he really wants to, but I mean, he's gonna have to wait. Oh my god, he needs seven hundred dollars. That's gonna take a while to get out of those spikes as well. That is gonna take a little while. He's gonna kill this spike. He's got one cabal. He's got another one over here. But uh, looks like uh, Phoenix did not sell. He did not sell all in, and he sells the he sells the uh, what do you call it the the airfield now. So this Orca is now on a suicide trip. And uh, again, I'm not sure what he's gonna be able to do. The Harvester does come out, so he is uh, significantly behind in that retrospect. Although, hang on a second, Nashington doesn't have that much either. He's about to have his second Harvester out, which is gonna be good. Once you get two and and thing, it's gonna be okay. But Black Hand Harvesters will die to six rockets. They will die to six rockets. And this is the thing, can the buggies kill it quick enough? He's he's gonna fire it. No, he, he doesn't have enough time, I don't think. He doesn't have enough time to fire all six rounds. I'm pretty sure Black Hand Harvesters die to six rockets. That's right, isn't it? They're a lot weaker than other factions. Someone needs to back me up on that right now. He did. He hit him once. Yeah, actually, no, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe it's seven rockets, because I'm pretty sure it's not eight. Most, uh, most Harvesters are eight, except for shielded tripods. And all of a sudden, you got to do something about these rocket squads and these flame units, and he needs to block that out with the silo or something because it's going to get flamed down. Uh, meanwhile, the, the Orca comes back in. Has he got enough ammo? Now it looks like it is seven rockets, so uh, nonetheless not going to be able to get it. These rifleman squads are going to fight, but they're going to die. They can't, cannot beat those units. And uh, these guys moving in now. Probably should have put the tower behind the MCV. Three harvesters out now from Nashington. This uh, tower needs to finish, and he might have to use a harvester to fight, which he's going to do so. So... Things getting desperate, and you see things like this in tournaments all the time as well. Players having to pull out everything they can to try to kill their opponent. And uh, he's going to drop that tower there now. The harvest is going to go back to work because the tower can finish the job uh, from here. And uh, nonetheless, there's, there's already a line for the refinery, so pulling that off the line isn't going to be too much uh, of, a, of a worry for, uh, for Stephen Nashington. Infantry scouts now getting cleaned up. There's one remaining over there. There's another remaining over here, and Dutch has some guarding the bottom spikes, so... Let's see how he's recovered. He didn't actually repair that harvester. The harvester is harvesting a lot slower because it's in heavy damage mode. A few bike buggy coming out from Dutch, so he wants to put pressure on Nashington. He doesn't want Nashington to recover. And oh, look at this. Nashington now has four and two. So that's not something that Dutch is probably going to be too pleased to see unless he's close to dropping his second ref, which he's not. He's going to get this harvester. I'm not sure if he, he told it to harvest the, the Tiberium in front of the War Factory or whether it's doing it itself. But nonetheless, it's going to repair it back to the point where it's going to harvest faster. Yeah, I don't think he did it on purpose. Um, so that's going to be nice. He has his spike buggy and the second ref is up now. So both sides evening out. But of course, this is going to favor, although Nashington does have five and two, this is going to favor Dutch eventually. Uh, maybe give it another extra minute or so because he's got three spike and Nashington has no spike. And there's the Pitbull Scout. The Pitbull Scout's coming out to see if Dutch, what he was doing, but he's all of a sudden realized, hang on a second, these are at my doorstep. This is a Predator tank, which is what it needed to be. If it was anything else, he would have been in trouble. But because it's a Predator tank, he's going to be okay. Nice control of the harvest this year, pulling them back. That one Predator tank is killing bikes pretty well, but he is going to lose one harvester. Second Predator tank is out now, and he's going to be able to kill these guys here. Nice work. So Dutch got his harvester. He traded a little bit for it, but I think he's going to be happy with it. The, the harvester didn't appear to have any Tiberium in it because it hasn't dropped anything. And more Predator tanks coming out now from uh, Nashington, and he's going to continue on moving to his expansion. What are you doing, Dutch? You've got one, two, three, four, five. You've got six and two, which is too much. Okay, I mean, it's okay. You can have six and two, but you're going to get these lines forming. And uh, again, he could send one to the blue field. Meanwhile, the MCB is under attack. Dutch, I mean, he's obviously not planning on killing it, but it's just if he can damage it, why the hell not? He's forcing repairs and he's forcing a response. And he's not going to lose anything, so yeah, that's why he does it. Two Pred tanks getting pulled. There is a third stay, uh, staying behind here. Uh, Nashington did rebuild his dead harvester, and he's probably going for a second Predator tank here, but he's in trouble of getting trapped down here. He does see the infantry coming out across the middle of the field, and he's even going to take that foxhole as well, so... Look at this, Dutch is trying to do something similar. Of course, uh, he went for Spike Open, now he's going to try to go into Infantry. He's got bikes out, which means Predator APC is going to have to be the combination. Uh, again, eventually you want to go like Predator Hammerhead, because Hammerheads are really, really good against Black Hand. Uh, unless they're like really massing bike buggy, then they're not good. But uh, yeah, he's got, he's only got one Predator tank down here, wow. 
I would have thought he would have had more. He needs a comm center as well. He's going to have to go fast AP ammo, and he is getting ready to defend against this, which is great. But uh, Dutch is going to do a double attack down, and he sees it. He's pulling harvesters already. This one Predator tank can't hope to defend, and he just shows his rear armor, which is not good at all. He's not going to get any kills, and these two harvesters will probably be destroyed. Meanwhile, here, Nashin is going to fight up here. There's going to be two engagements. Dutch, has he's pretty good at this, doing these these points where he gets into this engagement where he does two attacks. So we have two attacks happening over either side. Predator tank, dead Predator tanks everywhere. Harvest is being pulled off the line. Another one's probably going to go down. Meanwhile, looks like Nashington will clean up the infantry just. Harvester goes down again. Vice getting shot up. Predator tanks fighting, and they're getting a lot of kills now. This is the point where the force multiplier is in favor of Nashington, even selling off a refinery there. He's going to try to go for that one Harvester, but he's not going to get it. He's not going to get it. Not quite. That last buggy getting, oh man, absolutely pummeled by those towers, and he will go down and Nashington is going to defend that out, but uh, he's going to lose some units over here. He's still got some Predator tanks. These Harvesters now cleaning up the field, going back to refine. He's got a lot of Rifleman squads here. He could use them to fight. There's no Cabals left, so as long as he stays outside the range of the Flame units, he might be okay, but I think the Flame units here, they're starting to get in range of these Rifleman squads. And again, they just don't have APM. And look, these, these guys here are just tanking a lot of it. They might actually ultimately win this fight, though. Not quite. They just can't finish off the Cabals. Places a tower down there, obviously because he can't place it any closer because the build radius is only around this refinery right now and he even sells it off he's just like yep now he's killed the last black hand squad so he's actually going to win this fight and he's going to push these guys back moves his predator tanks to the expansion that harvester definitely needs some repairs second ref needs to come down meanwhile dirty dutch has double ref but again just two harvesters here here come the big harvester wave coming that back now he's got a lot of harvesters too there's four there's five there's six up here plus uh, there's two down here so he's going into into to scorpion tanks now which again, Dutch continually transition. He's actually playing really good. Like this is the best I've seen Dutch play in quite a long time. Well, what's happening back there? Bikes. There are bikes. I don't think they got a harvester. They may have got a harvester. They're going to snipe down that heavily damaged harvester. So Nashington paying for not not repairing that. One. This harvester. Oh man, yeah, he needs to get pulled back right now. And Dutch is happy with that trade as long as he keeps causing damage to the GDI player. He's getting himself into a position where eventually he's just going to be able to walk over the GDI player. And that's exactly what you want to do with Black Hand. Uh, Nashington does not have that much infrastructure left. There is a decent amount of Tiberium here, enough to leave a harvester behind to harvest this. He's going to lose a power plant as well, because why the hell not? You can do damage, you should do damage. He does have a second ref down there, and he's got 5 and 2 on this expansion, so he's in the position where he can do a decent amount of damage. APM immediately beginning on the upgrade. Uh, a Pitbull Scout, again, very nice from Nashington to keep trying to send those into Dutch's base to see what Dutch is doing. He's going to see Scorpion tanks, he's going to go, alright, yep, I'm up against Scorpion tanks. He could even drop an airfield, and he could go for hammerheads. I hope this is an airfield. It is too. Wow, he's going to go for hammerheads. If you can get, you know, five or four to six hammerheads up, you can actually start trying to focus down the scorpion tanks and actually destroy them pretty cost effectively, especially if there's no anti-air and you jump them. You can kill, like, you know, five to ten tanks before they can even get back to their base, and that's a nice pickup. He is expanding to the blue field as well, and these bikes moving down here, they're probably not going to get much done. Uh, nice positioning the Predator tanks spread out, and oh man, Dutch has not realized that these guys are walking into a trap, and he's going to lose the remainder of the bikes. Nice pickup from Nashington. He's definitely needed something like that, and a uh, good clear cleaning up of those guys. Double airfield, wow, double airfield. He could even sell off the command post once he's done with the upgrade. And he's pulling these, he's got Predator tanks up there, funnily enough. There are a few units. Got some scouts up here, just keeping this passageway open. Could probably put another one down here. And Dutch is now, oh man, he's got Dozer Blade. He's starting to pump out a lot of infantry and he's going to harvest the blue tip behind it. Again, just powering on three spike. Nashington has had no spikes basically the whole game almost. And here come the hammerheads. Dutch is going to see it. He doesn't have a lot of rocket squads, and he's got no bikes. And here we go. This is the point where he starts to try to focus these tanks down. These Predators, oh man, they're, they're really heavily outnumbered, aren't they? And again, you really got to focus with these... Uh, oh, geez, push the wrong button. I need health bars. You really got to focus with the Hammerheads to kill the... Uh, the, pre the, the What do you call it? The Scorpion tanks as quick as possible. He's actually got six Hammerheads out here now, and they're at the point where they're really going to be able to start focusing these down. He could start killing the rocket squads as well. He might have to pick them out, and I think he's going to lose his MCV nonetheless. He doesn't want to really trade too many Hammerheads but he is doing a decent amount of damage. The MCV goes down. There are a lot of hammerheads here. Wow, this is a pretty big engagement here. It's a uh, fire from the sky here from Nashington, and he is going to start to focus these guys down. More Predator tanks here. I'm not even sure if he's got a war factory left. I hope he didn't sell it. Otherwise, he's out of the game. But Dutch is taking very bit, very heavy losses here uh, with the tanks, but he's causing a lot of damage as well. Almost all the harvest is going to get cleaned up now. He's only got one harvest or two harvests left, sorry. So uh, he's going to lose all his tanks probably, but at the end of the day... He's going to have a uh, completely crippled Nashington and put him out of the game. Those last two harvests pulling back, and yeah, uh, very cost-effective trade. He just needed those hammerheads a little bit sooner, and he would have been okay. He does have a war factory, and Mantis are coming now, and you don't want to see Mantis. Wow, Dutch is going to power through. 
and he's going to take a 2-0 lead in this series. I think I don't think Nash and Nick can make a comeback. Not unless he gets these hammerheads around the back and completely destroys Dutch. Here they come now. They're coming over. I can't even see where they're coming from. But again, there's a lot of infantry there. Rocket, so there's a Mantis. The Mantis is going to go forward and it's going to get killed. So that's nice. The Hammerheads here, they need to be spread out. And they're going to come through and they're going to uh, pile on the paint. Nice formation there. But again, there's a lot of Rockets. And Dutch, as long as he causes damage to these guys, he's probably not too fussed. He's probably going to lose most of his Rockets. There is a Mantis there, which you don't want to be there. Those Mantis are so powerful now. Their pre pre-firing bug is fixed. And Nashington will be walked over here. Dutch is taking blue tip as well, no doubt. He's got a ref down there. And Nashington tries to go in for the crush. But again, Dirty Dutch, coordinated play, strategic play. And uh, and again, I think if, if Nashington had got that harvest the first time around with the Bloodhound attack, no worries. Would have been cheering. But uh, he just he dragged his feet on that one. And, uh, and he, he put rounds into the uh, into the refinery. So it could have been a different story from there. But nonetheless, Dutch, yeah, you can see there's the resources right there. That's his story right there. He just kept hitting Phoenix, uh, hitting Nashington again and again and again, and then trading and hitting him and again, and he just kept him down to the point where all of a sudden Dutch has like, you know, 30 Scorpion tanks and a massive infantry army and just rolls into his base. So uh, that's exactly what he wanted to do. That's exactly what he did. So uh, well done there from Dirty Dutch. Again, coordinated play, uh, strategic play, 12 minutes, 45 seconds. So probably one of the longest games we've seen in the semifinals so far. But these guys here, uh, everyone in all these games is playing super aggressive. No one's playing conservative at all. 109,000, so basically 110,000 to, to Dirty Dutch. 70,000 from uh, Nashington. So as you can see there, 40,000 in favor of Dutch. Just the spice, everything just blew out of proportion. Lost too many harvests. So again, not much I can say about that game other than that Dutch completely had control of it. And uh, we'll move on to the next game. So wow, Nashington is now two games down. He is two games down. He's going to have to do something seriously to pull a victory out of this one here. He's in a lot of trouble. Game three now. We are going to be on Smash Dust Bowl. Black Hand versus GDI, because why the hell not? Uh, that's what we like to see. So, yeah, unfortunately, Nashington, ugh, I mean, game one could have been better if he killed that flame tank. Game two, again, if he just, if the open was better, if he hadn't wasted missiles on the refinery. Yeah, but... Uh, that was uh, that was really unfortunate for Nash. I'm not saying it would have cost him the game, but obviously it was it was you know, significant to try to kill that harvester straight away and and to stop that flame tank and um and Dutch. But you can't you can't floor Dutch. Dutch has played those those last two games were just phenomenal. Uh, again, normally Dutch is more of a uh, a tried and true player, but he really executed some some good strategies there in in those games. And uh, Nashington. Let's, he's got to turn it around now. He didn't even go for a barracks, so he's not even planning to go for the spikes. And just as well because Dutch is going for flame upgrade, which means he can get both spikes. And there's really nothing Nashin can do about it. I mean, if you rush to his spike, he could capture it, but he's just going to lose it. And it probably wouldn't be cost effective. So he's going to draft one rifle from the scout, send him down the guts. If he sees black flame, not black flame, sorry. If he sees flame, he's like, yep, no worries. I'm not getting rushed at all. Unless Dutch really decides to go bikes, which he, I mean, he can. But I don't think he will because it's a bit of a commitment, especially when I mean, you get the spikes, but you have to wait at least a minute or two before that really kicks in. And uh, where those scouts go? There's a pit bull out as well. I don't even see where he sent the rifleman squad. Oh, they're actually just chilling here, so I'm not sure why they're just uh, hanging around here. Maybe he realizes that flame is done, and uh, he's actually going to get shot out by this garrison as well. So that's damage that he doesn't need to take to that pit bull. He's going to go straight through. <clears throat> he's probably just going to pick at this harvester. He probably really can't hope to destroy that just because the war factory is right there. And uh, he's going to sit here right now. Second harvester comes out. Forced the draft on the uh, the Shredder Tower, which is nice. You know, that's 300 bucks and a scout that Dutch doesn't really need right now. Dutch has plenty of disciples out on the map. So he can see everything that Nashington's doing. A second pit bull got built. Wow, maybe a little bit uh, of a precaution there. Maybe he thought a rush was coming. But uh, yeah, he built a second pit bull. Probably not necessary. He's going for the expansion now off of double power plant. This is one of those maps where you don't have to double power plant expand. You can just want single and that scout gets completely stomped. They did kill two of the Cabal members, but uh, nonetheless, the pit bull is, what's it doing? No, that's just the infantry standing on top of the Tiberian field. So Dutch is sitting pretty. He's got both those spikes. Uh, he's gonna be enjoying that a lot. He's building some rocket squads. I'm not sure what these guys are for. Uh, he's going for an expansion before putting down another refinery. Uh, again, I'm not sure what Dutch has got in mind here. Uh, Nashington's gonna see this. He sells off the rack, so this is obviously just some kind of hit squad of some kind that he's trying to put out just to put some pressure on Nashington. He gets the pit bull, which is a nice pickup. He's gonna see the expansion. He realizes there's no second ref, so Nashington's sitting there going like, hang on a sec, what is going on here? He's got five and two. His eco is superior. Maybe that was a mistake from Dutch to do that. Or maybe he's trying to go down to defend 
the blue field, which really doesn't really have much blue tip there. So I'm not sure what he's trying to achieve with these guys. He's obviously trying to poke in and kill some units with these. Uh, I mean, there is an APC here, but there's too many rockets. Again, they're going to take this garrison as well, and the APC really can't do too much. He is forcing units out of Nashington, and he's going to be able to put some pain on these guys here. Does a decent amount of damage to the APC, which is now going to fall back. Has a rifleman in the side, but you really need to put it on an aggressive start, so it maxes out its range. But yeah, he's going to get back to this base just fine. Oh, there's bikes here as well. Wow, that's what the infantry is for. The infantry is to buffer against these bikes. I didn't even see this. So Dutch has got something in the works here, and he's going to get a harvester straight away almost. Yes, he gets one straight away. So that's why the infantry were here. Again, just to cause massive problems for Nashington uh, while the bikes came in and did the real damage. And again, he kills an APC, kills a few APCs as well. He's going to get a few pit bulls. The bikes are here, but they're going to they're retreat now. Some of them did get picked off, but again, that rattled Nashington, I reckon. He did not see that coming. That was a poke there. That was definitely a, a well-thought-out poke by Dutch. Gets the harvester. He's got these bikes over here. He's getting shot at. He's going to pull a harvester off the line, but he's not going to commit, which is okay because he would have lost the bikes. So uh, Dutch, wow. Really keeping Nashion in his base. Nashion is cuddled up tight. He is cuddled up tight. Oh, man. And I think he's really shaken in this series. He needs to really do something right now. This is the point in the series where he's he, it's slipping from him. I mean, he's he's right on the doorstep. He's 2-0 down. He's he's trapped in his base. He can't see what Dutch is doing. Dutch has scared him. Dutch is double war factory now. He moved the MCV, obviously, because he, he didn't have enough money to place a ref down. But he's got uh, he's got 5-2, and two, and now he's double war factory. So... Again, Nashin has double ref on his expansion, but again, just the two harvesters, no third or fourth harvester. We have some units being destroyed here. He does clear out the garrison, which is always nice, and he's going to fall, get these guys to fall back. APM is about halfway done. There's a, there's a handful of defending units here, but again, Dutch has a big ball of uh, scouts somewhere. He's got bikes somewhere. Here they are. So there's, there's only six bikes there, so I thought there would have been more, but there's only going to be six. Still, that's uh, he has the ability to poke in it and kill something. He's going to use the Orca Strike, which is going to show um, Dutch that he does have that wall. Dutch is going to see it anyway. Hammerhead, oh no, that's not what you want to see. It's straight away gets sniped down. That's $1,500 worth of hardware. And the bikes now going to turn around. I mean, they did the damage. They got a, they got a Hammerhead. They could just get out of there. They got all this scouting intelligence as well. They could even pick this Pitbull off, which they're going to do. That actually wasn't too bad for Dutch. Yeah, he traded three bikes, but he got a Hammerhead and a Pitbull. Uh, maybe even two Pitbulls. I wasn't actually quite paying attention. He's going to get another Pitbull, maybe, but he's going to lose the rest of these bikes. So that's unfortunate they go down, but again, just keeping on edge. More bikes over here now, going to catch the MCV, going to force it to deploy. Nashington really trying to expand before going for any tech. He's really trying to get himself going with uh, just tier one ground units, ABCs, pit bulls, predator tanks, things which are de generally pretty good against black hand once you have AP ammo as well. And he's going to be falling back with these bikes. Hammerhead is chasing, probably don't want it at the front line just because they're expensive and you don't really want to waste them on bikes unless you absolutely have to. Doesn't quite get rid of that unit there. He has got a garrison here. If you put some rockets in here again, just more problems for Dutch. But again, he, he got cleaned up over here. But wow, pretty intense, pretty intense gameplay by these guys here. More bikes coming out from Dutch as well. And he's starting to transition some harvesters across again. What's with all this two, two harvester kind of thing? You need more than two harvesters if you've got double ref. You really should have some more on there. Sells one of his war factories. Wow, so he's going to go into infantry as well. He's already got the upgrade. One Rax has come down now. That harvest pretty badly damaged. So I'm not actually sure why he actually attacked it. It might have been the Orca Strike, perhaps. Maybe he got lucky, got a strike on it. But do we see a second Rax? We do see a second Rax come down, but Dutch is going to take a while to build his forces up. And there is a V-35 there. Uh... Okay, it's flying off the map. Okay, so it must have already done its job. Or maybe he called it in and then by accident and then it moved it. So Dutch is like, where are you going? It just flies off the map. It's like, well, you can't shoot at them if they do that because it's actually rallied. It's not actually in the game anymore once it rallies out. And these pit bulls here are going to see this attack force. They're probably going to die to it. Dutch realizing there's only four pit bulls there. So he's just going to go in and kill them. Uh, again, two, the first two go down. But there's predator tanks here. The other two will be able to make it back. Dutch, you might want to turn around, buddy. Yes, that's a good idea. Battle mark is raging over here. There's a few hammerheads. Trying to fire at these guys here. Do they have grenades in them? He's got grenades in one of these hammerheads. That's a pain, isn't it? That's just... It's super, super annoying. There are a handful of times, especially on that like small town or smash town, having grenades in the hammerheads is a nightmare for the other player because it's so hard to shoot them down because the, like, your units get blocked by the buildings, whereas the hammerheads can just fire over the top of them. And then the grenades just like rain death from above and just clear out all the structures. But uh, nonetheless, Dutch is on the move. And Phoenix, it's going to be up to him to defend against this. He is trying to take Blue Tiberium, but there's a lot of units here. This area might not be very safe for him for much longer. Grenades get a massive hit on those infantry units over there, doing a lot of damage, but a few of them go down. Oh, the grenade hammerhead went down. And again, uh, every hammerhead that goes down is a big win for Dutch because obviously it takes a while to build these up and they're expensive. And they're really powerful against 
Black can if he gets too many of them. But he is probably not going to lose another one. Yeah, he's going to be able to take that down. Nice work. There is a big inf ball over here. They got Cabals, which is what you need. But look at this positioning. The tower behind this fence here as well. The fence which is placed there by Predator just to prevent people from... Uh, from Poker BOing these spikes on this particular map. And oh, man, I'm not sure why he placed that over there. Oh man, he should have placed it behind the wall because it's going to get focused down pretty quickly. And uh, Nashton is going to try to defend. We have a battle marker over here. It's just infantry on the tip field. So we'll keep with this engagement here. That uh, tower now getting destroyed. But yeah, he, he sells it just before it goes down, which is always good. Hammerhead's getting shot at. Oh, they're going to go down. Yeah, a few of them go down. But again, it's going to be a pretty big engagement here. Nashton is going to move forward for the crush. He's doing a lot of damage. The hammerheads need to get in there. Scatter move comes down. And now he needs to re, in, re engage that attack move, which he does which is nice work from Dutch, but he doesn't have enough. He's going to get cleaned up here, unfortunately. Hammerhead's going to come over and finish off everything. Again, they're going to clean that up. Do they have any garrisons? No, there's nothing garrisoned inside. Beacon over here. A few Predator tanks move in. There's a dead Harvester, at least, or maybe that was a Scorpion tank. I'm not quite sure, but something was dead over here, and all oh, Orchestrate comes in, smashes that refinery, and again, he's got these Predator tanks. He could pick off a Harvester. He's going to try to go for it, is he get, no, he's not actually controlling these guys. They're firing at random units and they're not going to get that harvester. They might get this harvester though. Battle markers over here. Hammerheads are chasing these Scorp tanks back to the base. All of a sudden Dutch being pushed back. Maybe he hasn't done enough damage to Nashington. Has he done enough damage to Nashington? He needs to have done enough damage. He's going to get a second harvester. I think he needs one more shot. One more shot. Oh, he gets it. He gets it just as it goes down. This harvest getting some free repairs. Wow, Dutch is actually not in too good a shape, is he? Transitioning some harvesters over from reinforcing harvesters, which is always nice. But Dutch doesn't have the death ball he needs. Uh, I think Nashington has actually managed to survive it. He's managed to hold out. There's, there's, there's five hammerheads over here, which is a real pain. He doesn't like those. He doesn't want to see those out and about. They're actually going to fly in and over to this base. He's going to need some SAM turrets. Doesn't have anything cute. He's going to run in. He's going to get that harvester. It's heavily damaged. Snipes are down straight away. Dutch is trying to respond with a bike buggy, but he might be able to get one more harvester. Is he going to commit, though? He doesn't want to get these guys trapped in here. And they're going to try to get away. Is he going to lose any? Again, firing back at the bikes. The bikes don't have a lot of armor, so they will go down pretty quickly. But yeah, one hammerhead goes down. Two hammerhead goes down. Oh, geez, three hammerhead. Nice split from Nashington there to split them all up. That hammerhead goes down, so he lost about four hammerheads. Oh, no, but they just go into the infantry over here, and Dutch is going to get a good pickup as well. Uh, that hammerhead going to fight to the death, can do some damage, but yeah, now he's going to go down as well. So, oh, man. Nashington probably didn't really want to lose those hammerheads. There's a few more, or at least one over here. Decent amount of pred tanks out, which is a real pain. You know, if he can get some more hammerheads up, these pred tanks can probably just roll through his base. Two pit bulls rolling into this base. They can have the ability to destroy a harvester if Dutch is not paying attention. He's pulling this one off the line. Now, another harvester comes out being forced to rebuild harvesters. Battle marker over here. It's going to be hammerheads fighting uh, these guys over here. Tower comes up. The hammerheads should engage while the tower is drawing fire, and they will do so, but they're just skirting around the outside doing some decent damage to those pit bulls. Orchestra comes in, he's really been hammering that uh, that refinery, hasn't he? I don't think he's got another harvester. And yeah, this last pit bull will probably go down. So all of a sudden, Dutch losing his grip on this game. I think he's being pushed into a corner. Nashington, not very clean, but it's good enough. He's survived long enough. He's going back for more blue tip as well, which he has been cleaning up, which has been doing him a world of good. And again, he needs to reorganize his base, sell off some structures, move some, uh, some harvesters. He's not doing that at the moment. He's just desperate to try to go in and kill Dutch. Dutch is in a lot of trouble, actually. He's backed into this corner. He's got double warf, actually. He has the ability to pump out a decent amount of units. But, um, yeah, Nashington has this Pred APC army. It's pretty it's pretty well-sized. Wow, more reinforcements as well coming back back down here. There's only two hammerheads, though. But, again, he's got enough APCs to probably to make up for it. And he's going to be able to move through this base here. And I don't think Dutch is going to be able to survive this, actually. I don't think Dutch is going to be able to survive this army. I don't think he has enough. Yeah, he's going to come in now. He's going to fight in his buildings. He's got infantry units here, which is good. And yeah, Nashington is going to pull back. So Dutch has the opportunity to, to thin the numbers here, pick off these units that are at the front. And he is going to do so. Yeah, he needs to not chase them too far, though, because once he gets back too far away from his uh, base. And look, reinforcing hammerheads plus more APCs join the party. So Nashington is really pushing this. He knows he's got Dutch blocked into a corner now. Also, he did actually destroy one of Dutch's spikes, so that's nice. It's going to be buggy, scorpion tank, rockets from Dutch. So, yeah, where is the tech in these games? I tell you what, uh, I don't think I've seen any player in any of the semifinals tech just yet. And uh, we have this massive army here. Look at this. Nashington's got this ball army, and that's going to be it. Oh, man, Dutch just taps out. He's like, yep, you've got a huge army, and I cannot stop it. And, uh, yeah, so Dutch doing some, again, good strategic moves again, but uh, obviously just didn't do the damage that time. Nashington was a bit, I think he was a bit clumsy in the defense. I'm not going to criticize him because he obviously has won the game. He, he stabilized and did what he needed to do. But again, Dutch had the ability to win that game again there, I think. And uh, Nashington just manages to hold on. Scratchy win there, but he gets it nonetheless. 12 minutes, 7 seconds, 116,000 to Nashington, 81,000 to Dutch. So, uh, oh, pretty close there in terms of well, 16s. Well, we got 20, 36,000. So, yeah, 
pretty significant. Of course, Nashian got blue tib. He broke away at the end, and that's why he had a massive army, uh, pretty much. And uh, Dutch's expansion just got raided one too many times. Couldn't get the harvested kills he wanted, uh, I guess, against Nashington. But uh, nonetheless, it's going to be two games to one in favor of Dutch. So Nashington holds on to it. He needs to do that two more times in a row, but can he do it? We're going to jump into game number four now, and we're going to see if Nashington can actually hold on here. We're going to go to game number four, and this one here, it's interesting. It's going to be on Tournament Dust Bowl, so there's obviously no rules about smashed variants. It means you can play on pretty much any map, smashed or unsmashed. <laughs> that sounds weird, doesn't it? Smashed or unsmashed. But uh, Dutch, Black Hand, are we going to have the same mirror matchup? Yep, it's going to be exactly the same, so we're going to have uh, Black Hand up here for Dirty Dutch. Is he going to go for Disciple Upgrade, though? We're on a map where there's no... I mean, the spikes are both the same distance apart from one another, but um, there's no no fences or anything in the way. And look at this. Nashington is going to go for one of the spikes. He's got two Riflemen out, and he's only going to send one to the spike. He knows he's against Black Hand, so he knows his scouts are a lot faster. He can Foxhole before Dutch can get there. And Dutch is not going for a Shrine, so he's just going for this spike. Now, this is great for Dutch because, one, he doesn't have to face Foxholes over here because Dutch... Sorry, not Dutch. Phoenix isn't going for it. If Phoenix was going for that spike, he would have been in trouble because Nash can get there. Foxhole, bam, you can't take that spike. Uh, that's pretty much it. He's going to take this building. Obviously, you want to go for this side of the map if you're Nashing him because you got this building right there and you got that garrison there. And you can, when you jump in the building, it shows you huge vision up to here so you can just jump forward. So both guys are going to share spikes. Is he going to be able to cut that Cabal squad off? They're running through the city now. He's not going to actually go for them, so he's going to keep running by that gas station. And he's going to head up towards Dutch's base. Dutch can't catch up to him, so he should probably just give up and, and go and grab one of these buildings or something. Uh, he's actually got more, more Cabals over there now. Grabs his spike. Nashton grabs his spike as well. Uh, Pitbull scout out, so he's still intent on going for the Pitbull scout now. I don't think it's necessary. One, he can see the War Factory. Okay, yeah, it's a Torment. I did say you'd pretty much have to scout them. But he can see the War Factory, so he can see a Harvester come out. If a Harvester comes out first, well, you know it's not a Bike Crush. But obviously, we can see the Operation Center at the background here. So, if Nashin can see this long enough for a uh, for a flame tank to come out, and let's see if he's looking. So this is Nashington through the eyes. Yes, he can see the flame tank, so he knows it's there. He didn't actually need the pit scout, but he's going to do it anyway. He could notice the uh, the sell off of the uh, the operation center, so he should know that hey, this is the only flame tank. There's only one flame tank. He doesn't need to go crazy. He doesn't need to overcommit. Uh, he just needs to kill the flame tank. Again, the people should have the ability to run down these fences down 1.02 plus. Yeah, he's going to be able to run that down. So he needs to stop it before it gets to his spike. He could even run the uh, Rathman squad away. Takes a bit of damage from that napalm. Is there going to be another pit bull? No, he's got no more pit bulls. So uh, he's probably going to lose his spike. Dutch is going to be like, you know what? I wouldn't even worry about the pit bull. I would just flame the spike down because the longer you delay, the more likely it is that Nashington's going to rock up with more pit bulls. And unless Dutch is planning on bringing this all the way back to his base, although he does have the Black Hand squad and he can use that to destroy the spike. And now there's a second pit bull here as well, so he's probably going to pull back. He's probably like, all right, let's just chill. Wow, there's a lot of Cabals here, isn't he? He's actually going to go take the spike. And uh, Dutch just went all in. Okay, Dutch is all in, and there's the flame tank there. Of course, that's going to be nasty. Does Nashington identify that it's an all in? He's got double wharf, actually. Wow, this is perfect for Nashington. He's got double wharf, actually. He can pump out dual wharf, actually, predator tanks if he wants, and he's doing it. Oh, man, he must know that it's going to be an all in. He must know there's going to be an all-in, and his, his Pred Tank's already out about. He can see, wow, you got a lot of bikes, Dutch. You must have a second War Factory, uh, unless you can already see it somehow. He needs to clean up this Infantry Squad before they can do too much damage, though. He does have an MCV here, so he can pop down towers, but uh, Dutch is going to take the other spike. He's just about to grab it, and he does do so now. So he's all-in. What's important is the Flame Tank. He needs to kill that. He's going to use the Pit Bulls to flank around and kill it. Even if he doesn't kill it, the more damage he puts on it, the less he has to worry about it later. And he's putting more damage on it now. And look at this, Nashin is just driving around. He's just like, hey, you know, you have to do damage. Otherwise, you're going to lose. I'm going to build too many Pred Tanks, and I'm going to win the game. And that's exactly what's going to happen. The the Flame Tank is chilling back. He, he could even take it back to his base for repairs. I mean, he could just hide it for a minute or two, and then Nashington will forget about it. And then he could send it back in through some random path here. But yeah, Nashington is in a great position. Let's check out his vision. Uh, we can't see. He can see enough. So he's got a scout running up the right-hand side, which is a pit bull. And this is beautiful. He's been doing this most of the game, as well as some of the other players. The scouting is on point. Once you see what your enemy's doing, you're like, yep, you're so much more comfortable. I'm not sure what these Predator tanks are doing, though. They're uh, rushing out here, which they probably shouldn't be doing that. The Cabals are literally just drawing fire right now. And uh, he's happy to push these guys back. The, the, the bikes are moving out the middle. Wow, he's actually going to go for a counter-attack. 
And uh, Dutch doesn't... There's not much he can do about that. He can take these garrisons, but it's not really going to achieve that much. I mean, the Predator tanks aren't going to stop and smell the roses. He's going to shoot at them and keep going. Actually managed to de-garrison those guys. His Predator tanks are getting split up, though. And uh, that's concerning. He's going to have to build... Wow, he rebuilt an MCV, and now he's going for uh, Rocket Squads. He doesn't have uh, Pure or the Flame upgrade, but he doesn't really need it. Because, uh, again, he's not against Symmetry, he's against Predator tanks. And let's see what Nashington is doing. His base is pretty well undefended. I mean, there's obviously Predator tanks coming out of these war factories at the moment. And the Predator tanks are going to be moving forward. He's going to see that, hang on a second, there's a lot of rocket squads here. Is he going to commit or is he going to back off? That's the question. Four harvesters is not a good move from Dutch, obviously, because, uh, you know, he's going to have this line form, which means there's no point even having that fourth harvester there. Battle marker down there. The bikes are trying to get in. There's too many Predator tanks. I think Nashington could just, yeah, he's going for a ref. He's going for a ref. He's sitting pretty. He's doing pretty good. There's that flame tank. It must have got some repairs, but these Pitbulls obviously not being controlled too well. He will he will keep one alive. But uh, Dutch has held on to that all game, and it's still alive. Even got some repairs. I'm pretty sure that's not a second one. But, uh, yeah, cause, again, there would have been another Black Can squad somewhere. That's the first Black Can squad over there. So, yeah, the Flame Tank is still alive, which is nice for Dutch. He has the ability to, just to send it in somewhere. There's a lot of Predator tanks here now from uh, from Nashington. He could sell off one of his refineries because uh, he's got a power problem at the moment. Now, Dutch does have double ref. Not double ref, sorry, double spike, which is nice. Has he actually capped back any spikes? No, he hasn't capped back any spikes. His Predator Tank, not necessarily leave that out there. You really need every unit you can in these all-in situations. Not that it's really all in anymore. I mean, Dutch does have a second refinery. He's repairing that flame tank. He's getting more bikes. I mean, all it's going to take for Dutch is, is for Nashington to leave his harvesters open and for Dutch to be in the right position, and he wins the game, basically. I mean, maybe not wins the game, but if he kills all the harvesters, he's going to put himself in a position where he's going to be cheering. And again, scouting squad comes out. Probably could send that to the left-hand side. Doesn't look like there's any eyes up there at all, and you kind of need some eyes up there. The flame tank is moving out down there. The pit bulls, I'm not sure what they're... Not the pit bulls, sorry. The bikes are moving around up there. Not sure what they're doing. But uh, they're going to be moving out now. Wow, there's an infantry army over here. He doesn't have AP ammo. And the bikes are coming in now. They might be able to get harvested. No, he's not going to commit. There's predator tanks over here on the side as well. So that's nice here. The APCs are going to be able to destroy the uh, the militants now. Remember, the militants don't have the stifle upgrade. So the APCs are going to be pretty good. He's just going to come in for the crush. He doesn't even care. And yeah, with, with no flame units to, ta to tank damage, the APC is going to be able to kill the rockets pretty good. Nice crush moves here from Nashington, doing a lot of damage to these rocket squads. There's only two APCs there. They've killed the Cabal squad off, which is the main tanking unit. And now the rockets, they won't last much longer at all. APCs moving away. Predator tanks guarding the main field. Not that there's really any harvesters there. And uh, he's going to be able to clean up now. Even getting a veteran APC, in the, or two veteran APCs in the progress. That's very nice. And kills the remainder of those squads. Needs to watch out. These buildings actually have... Oh, I guess there's only one rocket squad, but nonetheless, it's, it's damage that Dutch is going to take any day of the week. He's going to have to try to focus these down. His formation moving, which probably isn't the best idea in the world. He's going to try to focus this one down, but again, this is just free damage here from uh, from Dutch. One rocket squad doing a decent amount of damage there. He does kill it off, though. Takes it down. He leaves that garrison free for capture as well. And he has a second ref down here now. He's going... He's got AP ammo. Wow, he's got it. He's got AP ammo done. And now he's moving through. Where are the bikes? Where are the bikes? I can't even see them. I think they're back at home. Where are they? He's got bikes somewhere. Oh, wait, they're up there. I'm not sure what Dutch is doing with them in the corner. He probably just rallied them there just to keep them safe, just while he did something else. It's always a good idea, rally them somewhere where you know there's going to be no units. He's going to move across the map. He could even take out the spike. Dutch is in a bit of trouble. Wow, wow, look at his economy. Wow, he's really recovered. I'm really surprised at that. A lot of Scorpion tanks there as well. The bikes now are coming down the right-hand side. What is there to defend this? Four Predator tanks. Nice, that's plenty. He's going to be able to defend that off. He's got the stack and he's not committing, which I think is a good idea because there's a lot of Scorpion tanks there. There's no Dozer Blade. Battle marker off here. And yeah, Dutch, not Dutch, sorry, Phoenix sees that. But I think, yeah, I think Phoenix is like, you know what? I've got map control. I don't need to attack you. I can just build up even more. Your mass Scorpion tank, even if you can't see it, and if he combines, if Nashington combines his whole army together in the late game, uh, while he's still building more of these units, he's going to be able to crush that kind of army that uh, that uh, that Dutch has. He just needs to not get bike or hit by the bikes, and he's going to be able to clean up the remainder of these scouts as well. He's going for another expansion, uh, obviously, which is a good idea. You want to expand as quickly as possible, just to, uh, to prevent Dutch from like going for clicks or anything like that. Because if Dutch clicks this field, all of a sudden you're in trouble. But if you've got another base, those clicks are just a total waste of money for Dutch because it's not going to slow down the enemy economy at all and you just invested way too much into clicks. A lot of Scorpion tanks out. He's going to probably wait for Dozer Blades before he moves out. Beacon comes in, so he's going to give away the fact that he does have an airfield. There's a few Hammerheads. I'd probably... I mean... He is just primarily Scorpion tank, so he could get easily half dozen Hammerheads and just stick with that even more if he wanted to. 
But uh, let's see if he sells one of his war factories. No, he's got both his war factories and he's got his airfield charging. And he's building structures, or well, defenses at least, no structures. But uh, Nashington's going to move into position here. The bikes are moving around here. And that's what this, the towers were for, just to defend against any any incursion by those bikes here. So the hammerheads are now moving in, and the dozer blades is not done. And he's actually going to be able to focus down some of these uh, scorpion tanks. He's just got an attack move, and that's not a good idea. He needs to actually focus these down. There's a damaged tank there, killer. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, he didn't even kill one tank. So he probably had the opportunity to kill maybe two or three tanks, and he got nothing there just because he wasn't focus firing. But this army is moving in. There's four hammerheads here now. The bikes aren't going to be able to stop that. So Dutch needs to stay here. He needs to stay here. And uh, this is going to be intense. Dutch has a decent amount of Scorpion tanks, but the Hammerheads are there, and that's just a real pain. He's going to engage. Wow, there's going to be an engagement here, so these guys are going to move in, and it's going to be pretty tight between those two players. It looks like Dutch is moving all of the Scorpion tanks forward. The Hammerheads are flanking, and the Scorpion tanks now are moving forward. Hammerheads over the top. They need to focus, though. He needs to focus. He's just got them in a general attack move. You need to get the Hammerheads to actually focus down tanks, because if they're just scatter firing all over the place, it's not going to lower Dutch's, uh, like Dutch's damage or his ability to do damage here. And Nashton is being forced back. Wow. He's being forced back, so there you go. Nashington actually he probably didn't need to lose that one, and he's now going to focus some of these guys down. There's only buggies here. Again, buggies take a long time to kill hammerheads. You know, they're not something that can kill them pretty quickly. He's going to jump forward again, sniping down those tanks. This is much better from Nashington, taking down all the red tanks. Oh, I think he overcommitted there. He accidentally gave them a move order instead of a, uh, an attack. And again, there's a lot of red units here from Dutch, and he is going to be losing a decent amount of his stuff here. The hammerheads over the top. And I think Dutch is in a lot of trouble. Now Nashington's playing better. He's moving through. He's not on any kind of uh, on attack order or anything like that. He's just on a move order. And uh, I think he might be okay. Dutch's units are thinning. The hammerheads, so though, there's not too many left. There is an elite uh, buggy there. All of a sudden, I can't even tell who's going to win this. These Predator tanks, is, they're all mixed in the lines. The hammerheads are gone. And, oh, man, I think Dutch might actually win somehow. I think maybe better focus firing that game there or that engagement. And uh, somehow that heroic buggy, he could snipe it down real quick with the last tanks, but no, he's not going to be able to do it. There's actually two heroic buggies there. That's a pain. And Nashington, somehow, I can't believe Dutch actually defeated him twice in those two wars. Well, that was mainly one big engagement split into two parts. But I can't believe Dutch did that. I think Nashington, yeah, better focus firing uh, with those hammerheads, again, like he did in the second part of the engagement. But then he moved all of his forces in. I don't think that was a bad idea because he brought all of Dutch's units in range of his. And that probably didn't, didn't want to be, uh, wasn't where he wanted to be. Now he's going to get attacked. And Nashington doesn't have much left. He's got no air power. He's lost all his hammerheads. He probably didn't need to commit those at all. He could have just done the damage and moved back and let the armor take care of most of it. But now he's in trouble. Towers are coming up here. He's got those heroic buggies, look, which look weird firing a, a red machine gun. And you don't see that too often. Uh, but he's going to be able to force these guys back. Dutch now is going to be putting on never-ending pressure, I reckon, just to try to knock Nashington out of this game. There's, there's a decent amount of Pred tanks here. There's five Pred tanks here. So they can defend this out. They can defend this out. A V-35 comes in. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but he tried to pick up the Rafman squad. And now good focusing firing from Nashington. Now that he doesn't have enough units left, he, he's really forced to do this focus firing, but he's in trouble. Dutch is pushing forward with a lot of units here now. There's no refineries here. He's going back to his base. There's only three Preds left. He's going to get behind the war factory. Sorry, not the war factory, the uh, construction yard. But it's going to be pretty tight. It's going to be pretty tight. These Predator tanks here, not in a good position. Again, there's now a Disciple Squad there. I think Dutch has sacrificed most of his base. He's sold off a ton of it uh, to try to push Nashton out of this game again. The longer Nashton can't mine off his base, the better it is for Dutch. He doesn't have a refinery down on his base, so that could be a problem. But he's got a bigger army right now. But Nashton can defend. He can defend against this. You know, if Dutch isn't going to get economy down, he might be okay. He's going to be able to cause damage. He really needs a war factory here, doesn't he? If he had a war factory, he'd be looking much better. But now he's fighting out in the open, and that's not going to be good for him. More towers coming up. He's got a decent amount of towers here, which are going to do a lot of damage. You know, if you've got a lot of them up, they can actually really slam these units over time. MCB taking damage now, but really it's just drawing fire. That's probably good for Nashington. More units going down to the towers. And the more towers that come up, the better it's going to be for Nashington. These, these uh, AP ammo units ripping through the hull of these, uh, these Scorpion tanks now. One does go down. Now Dutch is focusing them. He's focusing. There's an elite Scorpion tank there. Is he going to be able to take it down? No, he's not going to be able to take it down. It's going to get away. If I was Dutch, I would definitely pull that one back because it could be really important in this game. More tanks going down. Now, Dutch has pushed away. He's pushed him away. Nashington, note, does have this spike. Not sure how long he's had that for. He's obviously recapped it at some point in time. War Factory comes down now, but the party is over. And Dutch has stabilized. Uh, well, it's actually a B-35 there, but it's got nothing in it, so it's just a scout one. Probably be, uh, probably be able to shoot that one down. But look at this. This is a big problem for Nashington. Dutch now has six and two on this field. More harvesters coming down here now. 
These heroic buggies just chasing the V35. They're probably not going to catch it just because the V35 is much faster. But uh, Dutch pulling back here, getting repairs on the Elite Scorpion tank. Definitely want to keep that one safe. But he's he's fine with just building Tier 1 units at the moment. I reckon he is perfectly fine with building Tier 1 units. He's going to be loving that. Nashington has no refinery here yet. And Nashington is going to move out. That's not a good idea. He, he must know how much forces there are here from... Uh, Dirty Dutch, but he's still gonna move out and go for an attack. There is another war factory down here as well Which is even worse for Nashington Yeah, Nashington he pops a ref down. It's way too far back though It didn't need to be there and did he sell his MCV? He just sold his MCV set so uh, Nashington really committing to this now and uh, Dutch is gonna have to respond to this attack down here And he's and he's pulls all his harvesters. I don't think he needed to pull them all I it probably was a bit uh, bit of an overreaction there from Dutch, but uh you never know, he's a bit concerned about this obviously, but he's got this army here, he's got too many Scorpion tanks for these Predator tanks, yeah they're a better better unit, but at the end of the day, the Nod player here, Dirty Dutch has too many forces here, and I think Nashington selling his Cognard probably wasn't a good idea, he could have put down a second ref, because he's buying himself plenty of time, but now he does not have that MCV, and his army is going to get run over, and I think Nashington, I don't think he has much left, how can he fight this, how can he continue to fight this? Uh, Dutch is going to immediately counterattack as well, what does he have back at home? He's got nothing. He literally has nothing here to defend. There's no tanks. There's one tank, two, three tanks over here. He's going to have to sell up. Yeah, he's selling up like crazy now to get as much money as he can to try to defend this out. There's battle markers over here as well, but it's just that V35. And again, he's just going to come in. He's going to focus down the wharf. Actually, bikes now are focusing down the harvesters. And Nashington, oh no, he's going to go down in this series, I think. Three against one. There's the big sell-off. There is the big sell-off. He's pretty much done and dusted. He's falling back. He hasn't actually sold off the rest of his base here at the moment. I'm not sure what he's doing. But uh, nonetheless, he's pulling back into his base. Dutch, on the meanwhile, is, uh, is just he's continuing to build bikes and units. There's a V35 there, which is landing. It is landing. What's happening over there? But yeah, Dutch is pushing him to crush him. He's pushing him to crush uh, Nashington, but it's an engineer inside there, and he grabs Dutch's Conyard. Wow, that's a very nice pickup, but what's he going to be able to do with it? I don't think he has any money to do anything with it at all. The remainder of his force is getting cleaned up, trying to hug the war factory here to defend as long as possible. Selling up like crazy, but Nashington's going to go down. Yeah, he's going to lose this, uh, this, this structure. You're trying to put down, a, uh, trying to put down a, a, probably another barracks to try to cap him or get more buildings, but Dutch is just going to leave this area. There's two power plants remaining. Nashington popping down a uh, Hand of Nod. He's popping it down. Is he going to get a refinery? That would be a nice pickup. He's not actually doing anything with the engineer. It's just kind of sitting there. I think he realizes that it doesn't matter that he's got this conyard. If he got that a bit sooner, maybe he'd be okay. But no, he's going to go down. He's going to be out of this game. And Steven Nashington, oh no. Dirty Dutch is going to go through to the grand final. It's the first time I've seen Dutch in a grand final in a long time. But Nashington, oh man, has gone down in this game. How do we describe what happened there? I think Nashington really had a, a great chance in that, that, that game there, but in the massive engagement, the really big one we saw, that two-part engagement, the first part of the engagement was not good for Nashington. His hammerheads weren't controlled properly. Uh, he was too retreative. The second part of the engagement was great up until the point where he force moved all of his units into Dutch. That was probably a bad idea, okay? You want to keep back, pull back, keep a line, make sure Dutch's back tanks stay out of range of your tanks so you can't fire as much. Use the hammerheads to poke, focus it down. He did an okay job of it, but at the end of the day, that engagement made it, made it the, uh, the rest of the game, to be honest, because Dutch counterattacked and just put Nashington on the back foot from the remainder of that point in time. $103,000 to Nashington, $129,000 to Dutch, so he had about 25 grand in favor of Dutch. But if we check out the resource graph there, see Nashington was clearly ahead uh, from that all in, and then Dutch all of a sudden has just rebuilt the MCV, recovered, and if we go back to here and we see where that fight took place, this is where the fight took place, I reckon. It's right here, the 10 minute mark. I reckon that's where it occurred. So as you can see there, Dutch lost about maybe 50% more forces than what Nashington did, but the fact of the matter is that Nashington has less forces to lose. Dutch has more forces to lose. Dutch lost too many units. I'm oh, not Dutch, sorry. Phoenix lost obviously his whole army. Dutch counterattacked. You can see Dutch lost most of his counterattack here. Nashington defended out very well, but by that time, Dutch had got double ref. Nashington sold his conyard. Snowballed from there. So that was well done by both players. That was a good series, nonetheless. It was a nice series. Uh, 17 minute game, 17 and a half minutes. Good length on that one. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. But it's going to be uh, Dirty Dutch and spoiler alert, future speakers now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dirty Dutch will be playing Cyberstorm in the grand final. Best of seven. Stay tuned to my channel. The best of seven is coming up right now. I'm Green Zero. Hope you enjoyed that video. And I'll see you all shortly.